In this video segment, I'm going to be talking about the next step, which is called stay stitching. So um, basically, what a stay stitch is, it's a straight stitch line um, that is located 3 8 inches from the edge um, of the fabric um, on usually a waistline or a neckline, and it basically um, serves to keep the fabric um, from stretching because these areas of the fabric tend to be curved and um, therefore slightly um, located on the bias grain. And as you know, when things are cut on the bias, which is, you know, um, at the angle, right, diagonally between the weft and the warp, um, that tends to be super stretchy. So we want to prevent our waist line from stretching while we are trying to sew everything together. So let me show you how to do that. So um, I said that the stay stitching needs to be 3 8 It will be marked on the classroom sewing machines, but if you are using one at home, uh, your machine may not have um, a 3 8 marking on the plate. So I want to remind you that there is uh, a ruler guide I have on Blackboard for how to read rulers. There is, you know, um, let me explain. So, this here is an inch, right? And then split that inch in half, and that's half an inch. Split that inch into a quarter. There's four quarters in an inch. One, two, three, four. And then you can further split a quarter into an eighth, right? So then there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? So basically, if you align one of the inch markings here with where your needle sews and you're trying to figure out three eighths inch, um, so for me it is one, two, three. That basically means three eighths inch on my machine is matching up with the um, edge of this foot. So Basically, um, if I want my stitching to be 3 8 inches, um, I'm going to align the edge of my fabric over here, right? Because it'll, if the fabric is aligned here, it'll sew 1, 2, 3 8 inches on the inside. I hope that makes sense. So again, you need to figure out um, on your own sewing machine, if you're not using the classroom one, how to get a 3 8 inches seam allowance from the edge of the fabric to where your needle is sewing. So for me, on my machine, I realize that if the needle is matching up with one of these inch lines, one, two, three, that I need to align the edge of my fabric up with the edge of this plate so that it'll sew 3 8 inches toward the inside. All right, so the next step is how to sew the 3 8 inches in terms of direction on the garment pieces. So what I mean by that is when you have a full um, piece that was on the fold line, you do not start from one side and go all the way to the other because then what you're doing is since this part of the garment here is the straightest on grain, right? But then this piece curves up into the bias grain. So this area is more stretchy than the middle area. So the, what we need to do is we actually need to start sewing our stay stitching from the middle and you go out towards the edge of the piece. So the reason why we do that is because we want to start where the grain is the straightest and least stretchy, and then we want to sew out towards the, the end where it is the most stretchy. If we were to start from the stretchiest side and go all the way down, we would possibly stretch this piece, right? See, look how, look how that top edge is really stretchy. So imagine if you're sewing, 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 you're going to distort the piece if you start from, from just one side and go to the other. So, but 
if I pull here, it's the least amount of stretchy. And it will, if I'm starting in the middle and going out towards one end, and then starting in the middle and going out towards the other, at least if it stretches a little bit, they will be more likely be even on both sides, right? But now, what if you were doing it on these pieces that were not on the fold? Well, you basically just need to figure out which end is the one that is more with the grain and which one was more towards the bias, right? So this piece is one of the inter-back facing pieces, right? So this goes in the back of the skirt. And the reason we didn't cut it on the fold is because the zipper is going to go right here in between this piece and the other waistband piece, right? The zipper is interrupting this, these two pieces. The other piece I don't have in my hand at the moment. So with these singular pieces, start where the zipper would be, or the theoretical middle, right? Where the grain was the straightest, and then go, you'll sew this piece out towards this edge. And you're going to do the exact same thing um, for all the skirt waistband pieces. Uh, you don't need to do it for the facing, um, just the final fabric pieces. And then you need to do it on the large skirt pieces as well. So go ahead and do your stay stitching. Okay, I'm just going to show you what this looks like. And I'm going to do the stay stitching from the inside on the top edge. Okay. Don't forget to back stitch. Remember, I'm keeping my fabric lined up with my foot edge because that's where my 3 8 inch stitching is. Seam allowance. Okay, I have one half done. Now I'm going to do the other half after I trim my strings, of course. Basically, I flipped it over so I can just do it in the same direction. And there you have it. I did stay stitching starting from the middle on one side and then I went to the other.